So this question is a translate word problem question. I say that because it is four or more lines long. So let's read a sentence at a time, making sure to write down any quantitative information that we can while we read. So the question starts off by saying a piece of paper is cut two times, resulting in three smaller pieces of paper. All right, so I'm actually going to plug in a picture here. Here's my piece of paper. It's cut there and it's cut there, which means I now have, right, like these three rectangular pieces. Then the three smaller pieces are stacked and cut two times to form nine even similar pieces. Right? So pretend like they're stacked. I cut there and I cut there. And now I'm left with, right, like these nine, I'll say small squares. Okay. Uh, same shape and size. This process continues until the pieces of paper are too small to cut. Okay. All right, so it continues, meaning meaning what? I would cut this into three pieces or two times, and that would make it three, and you know, all of these would turn. Each of these squares or rectangles, whatever they are at this point, would be multiplied by three. So which of the following functions gives a number of pieces of paper FC, F of C that result after C cuts, where C is an even number? Okay. Well, we know from the first scenario, when C was equal to 2, right, because we cut it twice, that the number of pieces of paper became 3. So when C is 2, F of C equals 3. We were given that information. So I'm going to use that as a test, first of all. So is it true for choice A that if C equals 2 f of c is 3. Well, actually it is, right? Because if c equals 2 here, this becomes 3 to the 1, which makes it equal to 3. So I like that. How about here? If c were equal to 2, that would become 3 squared, which is 9, so no. If c were 2 here, that becomes 3 to the 4th, which is not 3, so that's gone. And the same thing here, right? So I think we're done. Choice A is the correct answer. Now, if you wanted to... Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't even go further than that, right? So we, we proved that when you have a single sheet of paper and you cut it twice, meaning that C equals 2, you end up with three sheets of paper or three pieces of paper, which means F of C, which represents how many pieces of paper you have, should be 3. So that's all I did. That's literally all I did. We didn't even need this second step here. This is the third step here at all. Um, and the only, I was expecting maybe that multiple answers worked and we'd have to go another step, but only choice A works. So we can stop there.